HUD rebooting. Stand by. They're back online, Colonel. Thank you, darling. That's Dr. Darling. Dr. Elizabeth Veronica Darling. Colonel Sloan, it's us. Sergeant Rex Power Colt. Lieutenant T.T. Brown. Of course. They sent you boys after me. Now that right there is a definition of insanity. Darling, you are looking at two genuine Mark IVs. Top of the line. In their day. I know what happened to your face. Price of power, boys. She's a mean, demanding bitch. She's a wildcat in the sack. Sir, what happened? They said you went off the reservation. It's gotta be a mistake. Ever since the nuking of Canada and the invasion of Australia, the world's been floundering something fierce. We've lost our way, gentlemen. And now the government, our government, talks reconciliation with the Red Menace. But I have a means to redress the balance. Rex, he's lost it, man. What are your orders regarding me and Omega Force, huh? How much does Washington know? I'm sorry, sir. I respect you, but I can't. <laughs> and you've bought into their goddamn lies. What a pity. Did you download my mainframe into your cortex? Fuck you! <laughs> I know what you're planning. Your Mark IVs were smart, but way too independent like. What the fuck? Ooh, yeah! Anyone can draw the line. We'll be taken offline. No! <laughs> you are dead. I imprinted you Mark IVs with all my combat savvy, right? Tell you what. I'm giving you a shot at the brass ring, boy. Wirepatch, come in. Sergeant Rex Colt? Wait, who is this? Dr. Elizabeth Darling. I keyed into your comm when I was examining you. I always cut you off from Briar Patch. What the hell was that? I'm sending you coordinates to a safe location. And why should I trust you? Because I hate Sloan. Oh. Okay, Doc, what's the plan? Stay low and stay quiet. The Blood Dragons have poor eyesight and a hunger for humans and cyborgs. What? Hello? Fuck. Scanning cave interior. Exit located. Objective. Escape. Alert. You have no equipment and are completely defenseless. Avoid all contact with cyber soldiers. What's up with all the blue goo? Dr. Darling mentioned they possess poor eyesight. Crouching may be advisable. The creature is emitting bioradiation. I've calibrated your scanner to alert you to their presence.
That's right. Nothing to see here. That thing's in my way, goddammit. What now? Detecting heightened olfactory capabilities. Throwing cyber hearts may lure the dragon away. Designated vantage point. I recommend collecting more cyber hearts. The dragons will hear you if you do not crouch. Remember, the shield protects the soldiers inside from the dragons, but it won't stop the dragons' laser fusion blasts. They're what? Hello? Pip. Reminder, throw a cyber heart at the markers I've indicated. Eat it up, little dragon dude. Secure the garrisons for supplies. Detecting weapons in the bunker that you can use. Objective. Use cyborg vision to tag hostiles in the base from the Overlook. You have several options in securing garrisons. You can kill all hostiles yourself, you can lure the dragons to the main gates, or you can bring down the mega shields. This will attract nearby dragons to the garrison automatically. Oh, or perhaps you can... For fuck's sake, shut up, HUD. I do what I want. Understood. Just keep in mind that there are two ways to turn off the mega shields through either the console or directly at the generator, which you can also destroy. Blah, 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 kill, blah, blah, blah. Nap time. Ah, you someplace 
say? I am. This is going to get bloody and messy fast. Those happen to be my two favorite things. so those dragons can come in. Yeah, sounds like a plan. dragon out of the garrison. It appears to be over, Sergeant. I think it's time we meet. Send me your location, and I'm on my way. Coordinates received. Objective. Rendezvous with Dr. Elizabeth Darling. Complete. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. What are those things? We're not sure. Perhaps a living fossil from the early Cretaceous period. We call them blood dragons. BDs for short. When Sloan drank their blood, it supercharged his cybernetics. He drank their blood? Is that a joke? No, Sergeant. If it is a joke, I'm afraid it's a bad one. The blood supercharged Sloan, making him even more powerful. And one ugly motherfucker. Why are you helping Sloan? And what does he want with that rocket? Sergeant, slow down, please. We were using the rockets to test biochemical payloads of the dragon's blood. Rockets? As in more red spears? How many? I don't know. A lot. I don't think Sloan is interested in tests anymore. And I don't even want to get into what it does to normal people. That's why you went AWOL? Sergeant, 
Sloan wasn't entirely there to begin with. Now he has the rockets, and God knows what he's planning. What's with the needle, Doc? Listen, this will make you more like Sloan. Powerful, but without the side effects. No, Doc. No way. I swore an oath to a special lady. Your wife? No. Lady Liberty. She taught me that winners don't use drugs. All right, look. Sloan runs three top secret facilities, each critical to his operations. I'm sending you their coordinates. Contact me when you reach them, and I'll give you all the intel you need. You got yourself a deal, Doc. What about you? Are you safe here? Just as long as Sloan doesn't realize I'm helping you. Good luck. like this one. Secondary missions will become available at the Adventure Cabinet. Let's not disappoint the fans. Time to do this. Well, nothing to fear but fear itself. Nothing to fear. 